Ingredients are a big focus for us. If you have a great product, there's not a lot you really need to do. If the fish is good, the vegetable is good, it, at the end of the day, will shine. The quality, where it's from, really focusing on being locally sourced, sustainable here in California. We are blessed to have everything almost all year round. You know, it's kind of being like a kid in a candy store. It is right in the heart of downtown LA, on the rooftop of the Conrad Los Angeles. It's definitely a chef's dream. Hi, I'm Stephanie De Los Santos, chef de cuisine at Agua Viva inside Conrad Los Angeles. And this is Off the Menu with Hilton. Today we're gonna to be making whole fried sea bream. We are gonna start making your mojo verde first. We have a little bit of chopped up cilantro, chives, parsley. We're gonna throw all of those into a bowl. We'll put in a little bit of cumin. We're gonna add a little bit of sherry vinegar, about a tablespoon, a little bit of salt, some fresh black pepper, and roughly a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And you're just gonna mix. There you have your mojo verde. After you've deboned your fish, you're gonna have something that looks like this. We are going to drizzle a little bit of your mojo verde over top. Give it a good mix before we dredge it. And we're gonna bring our flour dredge. Put your fish in the flour. We don't want to dredge it too much, just slightly. A little messy, it's okay. You can use your hands, you can use some tongs, whatever works. Just lightly dust this, and then that's it. One of the first dishes that my dad actually taught me to cook was a whole fried steamed fish. Uh, start setting up a sea bream. Where I come from was a big influence Perfect. on me being a chef. Just growing up in the Philippines, there's an abundance of seafood. Well, what sets apart Agua Viva from other restaurants is it is a melting pot of different cultures, cuisines. There's a lot of inspiration you can get from that. You're gonna wanna get your oil hot to about 350 degrees. We're gonna take our fish, we're gonna drop it into the oil. We're gonna fry it for about five to seven minutes. So you can tell that it's almost done because the fish is actually slowly floating to the top. And after, your fish should look beautiful and golden brown just like this. And after you've fried your whole fish, we're going to plate. For the color contrast in the restaurant, we put a few pieces of bamboo leaves. We're gonna take our whole fish, place it right there. Put our little fried fish right in the center, just having the body hugging it. A little bit of your mojo verde that you made. Lemon and lime cheek, and some house-made tartar sauce. And there you have it, your whole fried sea bream. The dining experience is extremely important. Anybody can go to dinner and years down the line forget about what the food is. But if you spark a specific emotion through the food, people will remember that. And that's what I strive for every day.